box? Who's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Hello and welcome to Cinema Chronic. Before we get to the new edition, don't forget your subscription. Today is the unboxing of the latest Loot Fright box delivered every other month for 26 bucks pop, themed around horror flicks. Uh, the first item is about one of my favorite movie, A Clockwork Orange, a 1971 Stanley Kubrick masterpiece. Uh, well, first of all, I never thought of a Clockwork Orange as a horror movie. It's more of a science fiction movie or anticipation. But I guess it's kind of a horror movie as well. Okay, so there's a glass bottle of milk from the Corva Milk Bar. The place where Alex Delarge and his Drews hang out and which you can see mannequins, a naked woman in obscene positions, way worse than the one represented on the bottle. Uh, following the woman's curve, it reads Moloko Plus, Alex's uh, favorite drink, a mix of milk, vodka and psychotropic drugs. In the woman's hair is the symbol of the movie, Alex's um, makeup eye, a reference to the Ludovico treatment he has to go through. Well, I like that, not only because it's a practical object, but it's a movie with very few merchandising. Uh, then it's an item from The Lost Boys, Seven uh, Joel Schumacher movie. Uh, this is definitely a horror movie, but, like, Gremlins is an horror movie, I guess. Uh, this box is previously had Lost Boys items, which is cool because it's not that famous, after all. Um, there we have a snack bowl, referencing uh, that scene where uh, David, Kiefer the Lowlands character, uh, manipulates Michael. Jason Patrick's character into thinking that he's eating worms while well, he's actually eating only Chinese noodles, uh, just like it reads on the bowl. Okay, now this is the ultimate horror movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a 1974 Toby Hooper movie. Uh, the item is a Leatherface action figure. I now realize that we never really know his name. His family calls him Baba, but that's it. Well, at least in the original movie, because he keeps changing names during the franchise. He's dressed uh, the way he was when he first appeared, uh, with his apron stained with Kirk's blood. He kills him with a, a, a mace, the, a, a huge hammer. He doesn't use his chainsaw yet, uh, just like Jason Huarys uh, didn't always have his hockey mask. On the back of the box, you can cut out the cardboard, that is a drawing of the wall in front of which uh, Leatherface appears in the open door frame. The last item is a kitchen apron inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, but the fourth installment. Uh, the Next Generation, the one with uh, Rene Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey. Yes, <laughs> that Matthew McConaughey, who is playing uh, the new Leatherface brother. Uh, the apron is in the name of the other brother, Walter Edward Slaughter. So it's a pun on W-E, we, Slaughter. Uh, Slaughter being the new Degenerate family name, uh, after Sawyer and Hewitt. Uh, underneath is the Texas map with stitches, just like the Leatherface mask. And there's also the road to the slaughterhouse, double meaning obviously, uh, with the chainsaw and the bloodstains. So yeah, Loot Fright is a pretty cool box, I have to admit it. Hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and stay gold!